China was up by 12 points at the end of the third quarter, and they were able to start the last period with a basket, but Gila's were able to answer back. That's where defense was really good for the Philippines. Alas goes to Kwame. Put back is good. Kevin Alas was able to draw a foul on the next defensive play, and then on offense, the never say die mentality of Justin Brownlee has begun. Step back three. Loses the screen of Kwame, kicks it out. Brownie for three. Brownie wants another. Back to back, please. Then back on defense, Ange Kwame was able to make a great stop, but he committed a foul on the next play. Denied by Kwame. 4.9 seconds remaining on the shot clock for China. On the next sequence, Gilas and China went back and forth with their threes, as Justin Brownlee was able to drain his third straight of the quarter. Brownlee, no hesitation, asking for instructions, he goes in. Alas, for three, he's open! And before the five-minute mark, Gilas missed the chance to cut the lead to a single possession, and China was able to drain another basket. Outside, oh no, big one coming, but a miss! That's Brownlee again out. has it. Attack! Aguilar standing his ground playing excellent defense. Oh my goodness. Lucky for Gilas, Kevin was providing quality minutes for the team, as he was able to answer back with another basket of his own. Alas, spins off the glass. And with less than four minutes to go, Gilas had another chance to cut the lead to a single possession, as Scotty was able to draw a foul and earn free throws. Third try for Gilas, Thompson is fouled. This is both. After that crucial missed free throws, China was able to drain a three-pointer on the other end, bringing back the lead to seven points. Gilas get another stop. Gilas called a timeout to stop a possible momentum from their opponent, but what happened next was unfortunate, and China was able to capitalize, completing a five-point swing. Was able to cut the lead down to four. That's oh. a Looking to extend the lead, Zhao bounce pass inside. Gilas was forced to call another timeout to regroup their composure, but they weren't able to capitalize on their offensive play. That is for three. Lucky for Gilas, China missed their shot too, and CJ Perez was able to get back with a strong move inside. A lot of contact and traffic. From CJ Perez. With less than two minutes left in the game, China was able to draw a foul inside and earn a chance to increase their seven point lead. After that missed free throws by China, Gilas had a great sequence by getting some stops and by the never say die magic of Justin Brownlee, as he was able to drain eight straight points. Controls, puts it up, shot clock winding down. There's a mismatch down low, but a steal. Brownlee, step back three, big one coming for Justin Brownlee. Gilas fighting for a spot in the finals. In and out, JB has been hot, keeping Gilas alive. Three-pointer for the lead! With 23 seconds left on the clock, Gilas took a one-point lead, and China was forced to call a crucial timeout, and after that, all Gilas needed to do was to have one more big defensive stop. Can Gilas contain China? Can they complete the comeback? They swing the ball, open shot, mid-range jumper on the way, nothing there, and Gilas, Filipinas, escapes! And they march on to the finals! It was a great comeback win by Gilas, shooting 63% from the field in the last period, while limiting China to just five made baskets. And for the first time since 1990, the Philippine men's basketball team will be competing in the Asian Games gold medal match.